It's a really unique system for a number of reasons. And the first one is that we really haven't seen a jet hitting the side of a companion galaxy before. We've seen jets do pretty weird things to their environments, but a head-on collision is really rare and generates a whole amount of information about physics that we can understand and use. There are two competing processes going on here. One is the actual electrons that are being sped out of the jet at close to the speed of light. And the other one is the radiation that these electrons produce. And we've actually calculated and shown that because jets are so light and fluffy, they won't actually have a huge amount of disturbance on the planetary atmospheres of a, of a, of a planet in that galaxy. However, the photons that come out of there really, really energetic. And the photons, because they're focused into such a narrow, narrow beam, can have a really dramatic and profound effect on a planetary atmosphere. That jet in 3C321 is much like a fire hose. And you can imagine a fire hose coming out and striking the side of another object and flaring out. So we're seeing a very, very similar thing in 3C321, just on a cosmological scale. To have two galaxies that are so closely separated, each of which hosts actively accreting supermassive black holes is really rare. The probability of a jet intercepting that galaxy is really low. In other words, for that galaxy to be looking right down the line of sight, right down the barrel of the gun of that jet is incredibly rare. So this makes it a really exciting discovery.